What it is, y'all. It's your old boy, Pilk. And uh, as you can see, we're going full VTuber mode today. Nobody wants the face cam because it looks like I've been run over by a freight train. Nevertheless, nothing's going to stop me from bringing the fifth anniversary hype. Let's jump in to the news. So as you can see, we have the logo for fifth anniversary. And the story of the of, of the Great Hole, the origin of Don Machi. So, uh, from what I can tell, this is going to be, seems like, like, Sword Oratoria for the third anniversary event. Looks pretty cool. We have a, 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 some, let's just call it a familiar face for now. Uh, Knights of the Fianna. Long ago, before the arrival of the gods of time, when monsters came out of the Great Hole and roamed the earth, it has been ten years since the clown danced and the ship of heroes sailed off. Among the many heroes, there were the little ones. They were the Knights of Fianna. People praised them. They were the royal spear. The world praised them. They were the saviors of the land. This is about the tracks left by the knights that lived through the ages of heroes and bravery. And a story about the false knight that was entrusted with the saint's will. So, uh, for those of you that were a little disappointed by last year's event, and I know so, some people were, this. This looks epic. It's an original story written by Amori, set in ancient times before the gods descended on the lower world. It depicts the trajectory of the Great Rebellion operation in which mankind reached the Great Hole for the first time. This is basically where the uh, the where the dungeons are in Orario now. Featuring the Knights of Fiana, the goddess of the Palums, who lived during the time of Argonaut. So, yeah. A three-part tale about the origin of Damachi. So, more or less, what you're looking at here, this is going to be like uh, like the last few anniversary events where I, I would expect, like, part one's going to be the first month, part two's going to be the second month, part three's going to be the third month, and we have some new units to talk about here. But first, key word, the story takes place ten years after the Argonaut story, so that was the third anniversary event. Before the gods descended, monsters sprang out of the Great Hole and, and roamed the land. Uh, in the current era, it's called the Dungeon. It eventually became the location of Arario. So that's, uh... Basically, it's like a hole in the ground where the monsters just, like, were like, Hey, what's up? We're coming out now. <laughs> GG. Uh, Fianna was a fictional goddess deeply believed in by the Palums. Okay. So, I don't think they've talked about this in the series. Uh, but if you read Light Novel, at least, uh, 8 is the one I specifically remember where she was mentioned, uh, a whole lot. Um... She basically is the goddess of the of the, the Palums, the one that uh, the one that Finn was like, we're gonna bring back into prominence. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Actually, I'm really, really, really excited to see the story because uh, Light Novel Eight just didn't get any shine in the anime, and it was a really, really, really great story. So uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Ancient heroes, the mighty and proud Palum Knights. So, you're looking at, you know, basically, like, more or less Finn. Part 1, the double theme song for the 5th anniversary. Okay, so this is this is going to be literally, literally a theme song for the anniversary. This is pretty sweet. And, of course, the Saint Spear Fiana, who is going to be a character in the anniversary, of course, as one would kind of suspect. Note here that almost everybody but one unit is going to be fresh cp so if you guys are asking me should you summon well we we don't know specifically what these units do quite yet i'm assuming we're going to get that information either tomorrow or thursday yes the anniversary basically kicks off on thursday um dim who you can see is kind of pretty much a uh, either an ancestor or a i guess finn would be the uh the reincarnation of uh of dim so they're related in some way look very very similar melina uh i say all new characters but you know i, I forget the you know that she's based on but yes helga knight advisor helga actually who looks pretty badass uh l lasers i think this guy's gonna charge his lasers i'm uh, moving on Aw, Feliz. She's adorable. She's like a uh, precursor to Ana Kitty, as you can kind of tell. And she's absolutely adorable. 
And Ryula, who is the only really... I say recycled character, but considering your character, it kind of makes a lot of sense. Um, so, Ryula will not be fresh CP, unless you just didn't weren't here for the third anniversary. If you weren't here for the third anniversary, she will be. But, uh, that is... Uh, Either way, I'm expecting these units to be really, really, really good. And I apologize for the sniffling, guys. I am super sick right now. Uh, came home from our trip last week and got ill. Because, you know, as you would have it, that's how things go. So, hence the uh, the VTuber down below. So, we've got the Knights of Fianna. So, we've got Fianna herself, Dim, Helga, Melina, Gren, and Beryl, who I'm guessing are, like, the precursors to... Um, to, to uh, Alric. So, good stuff there. And you can kind of expect these characters to be similar-ish. Of course, we've got the Wandering Bard Ryulu, who was part of the third anniversary event. And here's these units. The Knights of Gaul. So, Captain Gaul, uh, Lazar, and Felice, who... Gaul does not have a... Gold does not have a, uh, a voice as of yet. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Um, Lord Cormac, who we already have a voice for. Lady, oh, I'm going to butcher her name. Grian? Gre I don't know how you pronounce that. And Chancellor Marty, who looks extremely similar to the, uh, the dude who runs the guild. The story of the Great Hole, the origin of Don Machi. Uh, the knights who lived in the same era as, as Argonaut are depicted on a grand scale in three episodes, fully written by Amori, the author of the original story. So, this is looking to be pretty hype. Like, if you guys aren't hyped by this, I don't know what to tell you. These uh, We don't know what the units do yet, but I've told you guys time and time and time again, the anniversary units are always really crazy hype. Uh, even, like, the first couple of units we get should be pretty nuts. By and large, that's the case. Now, there are exceptions to that, but it is worth going all the way in. And I told you guys to be ready for three banners on the first run. We don't know. It, it, it looks right now like there's going to be two banners, so we'll, we'll get to that here in a moment. So, Damachi, fifth anniversary. Thank you, four-star dreamer. So, we're getting a free four-star just for playing the event. And... So, when you clear the event, is it wrong for all of us? The 4-star, 11-draw gotcha. So, every unit, every single unit here is going to be a 4-star. That's right. We, they're, they're bringing it back. I think they did, the first time they did this was 3rd anniversary. And we get one just about every anniversary at this point. But, every unit you're going to get is going to be a 4-star. Not all of them are going to be great. But... The all four star gotcha is a huge event. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, so free 11 draw gotcha every day. This can also pay out big time. So make sure you log in every day and get your uh, free 11 draw. And during the Dumb Month 5th anniversary, up to 10,000 Iris present. You get 4,000 Iris for the login bonuses alone. On top of that, uh, you get more than 15,000 hours from event rewards, etc. They always pay out huge during the event. And I mean huge. Uh, since the fourth anniversary is... Or, so the fourth season is kicking off in July. That's that's going to bring some more rewards too. <laughs> Excuse me. I should edit that out, but I'm not going to. Um, Just getting through this recording is going to be pretty much the end of my energy for a while. Um, so up to 10,000 Iris present, it looks like another 5k from the, uh, the anniversary event, or from the anime season four event. If you guys haven't seen, the trailer is now on Twitter. I did retweet it. Um, it looks crazy good and not quite what I expected, but it looks really, really, really good. Okay. Here's a thousand Iris we're going to get from just for logging in in the, uh, day five leading up to the anniversary. Here's all your login bonuses, and I believe they said that's 4,000 iris, and it looks like 4,000 iris. Actually, it says that's 1,000 iris right there. But, yeah. Uh. So, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Lots and lots and lots of iris up for grabs. Now, we'll get to iris requirements here in just a moment. 
Gotcha unit rate uh, doubled for all four-star units. Notice it says for all four-star units. Like last year, I believe even the year before, every unit is uh, all the, uh, the... It's not every unit, but all of the general pool units will be available in the banner. Now, you will still have guaranteed pulls. So, the first, fourth, seventh, and tenth pulls will be guaranteed to be a new time-limited unit. But... This is a huge but. The uh, all other four stars in there could be any four star. So I've been telling you guys for a while. Uh, you need to farm up all of your gnome tickets. You need to have your star bonds available. And I do suggest in the rare situation, if you cannot afford to whale, this is the rare situation where it might be worthwhile to overpull. See how many units you get. First of all, see how what the units are worthwhile. We'll talk about that with each banner that drops. Once we get the uh, the unit data for them, what they do and all that good stuff, then I'll, I'll cover that more. But uh, as of last year, I did kind of overpull myself a few times, even though I did whale quite a bit. And it was really worthwhile. It was really, really worthwhile. This is banner number one. Banner number two. Now, I did say you needed to have a minimum of 8,000 available. And 8,000 would be all 10 draws on both of these. We do not, as of yet, have a third banner announced. But usually what happened was halfway through the event, they dropped a third banner. So those of you that were like, why did you tell us 12K when we only needed 8? Well, the honest answer is I said 8 minimum, 12 would be the optimal. 12 is not quite where I'm sitting at, but it's, it's just about, it's right around the corner for me. I'm sitting right about 11 right now. So... I'll be doing some farming over the next couple of days, and I'll get myself up to 12. Number one, that includes any, like, overdraws or anything like that. Uh, number two, and this is really, really, really important, that gives me some flex room for if in two weeks they drop another banner. Usually that second banner isn't time limited, so it's not like the end of the world, but, you know, you will probably need a decent amount of iris for it, so... If you don't have at least 8,000, you got to get there. If you're at 8,000, you wonder, should I farm further? Yes, absolutely you should. We're going to get a ton of iris, but you don't want to be caught, you know, with your pants around your ankles if, you know, a third banner drops each and every time. And last time, I believe third banners dropped in both part two and three. I'm expecting a one, two, three, uh, I don't want to call it a sucker punch, but it kind of is a sucker punch of extra banners, especially considering we're getting like 15,000 iris. So part one, part one, probably the second, uh, the, the, the non-time limited banner will be for the, the anime. So basically expect the two time limited, uh, the two time limited banners per part for, uh, basically the anniversary and the non-time limited will most likely be for the anime. If I had to guess, that's just, that's hazarding a really wild guess, but that, that is my presumption. I don't know for certain, but. I think that's a safe bet. Version 13.3 launched in a huge, huge, huge update. This is really interesting. Outfit refinement available. So, uh, outfit level increases as units go on an adventure. So this is really interesting. So basically, when you find your favorite outfit, you can level up that outfit, which is interesting. I don't know how this is going to relate to the purchasable outfits. But it says here... Outfit level is available for all adventures and assists. Send units on battles, get battle participation points, use battles to increase outfit level. Does that mean we're going to get outfits for units that we don't have in the... Um, for units that we don't have in the, the interact page? That I don't know. So I'm sure they're going to have to address that. Uh, so this might be a really hype... Not a really moment to level up your unit a little bit further... But another really hype event that is going to give us some more iris for just collecting units. So this will be pretty neat. Um, I'm hyped for this. I think this is going to be really awesome. I don't know how it's going to play out, but uh, like most of my units are on like much higher CP levels. I'm probably way behind most people, but uh, I've been doing a lot of CP upgrades, and like everybody aside from crossover units are on all of my teams are like level thirty and up now. So. Which I know, I, I'm probably way behind people that, that have been playing since day one, like myself. But this, uh, you know, for me, that I, I didn't really start farming that until about two years ago. So 
Uh, yeah, we did a little bit, but not really. That's when we learned like how epic that those upgrades really were. So, shame on me, I know, but it is what it is, guys. So, will this be a game changer? Sure, absolutely. For those of you that main um, that main uh, 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 war game, this is gonna be a total game changer for you guys. This is gonna be huge, and I mean huge. So you want to carefully pick what units that you put points into, and I'm assuring you right now, uh, units from the anniversary are probably going to be your first picks. So we'll cover all that when it happens. So athletic effects are effects that display on your unit during battle. These effects display on both adventures and assists. So interesting stuff. Outfit refinement main rewards. So we do have some Irish rewards for farming uh, outfits. So it looks like outfit level 30 is the highest level outfit. 5,000 points required for that, and you get basically two Iris for each level you go up. So you're talking, you know, like 60 Iris for each level. That's pretty awesome. Or I say 60 Iris per unit. That's a pretty good reward. Now, how quickly will we be able to amass that? I don't know. But remember, that's per outfit per unit. So some units have like 14 outfits. So that's going to be an interesting grind. But pick your favorite unit, pick your favorite outfit, and that's basically the way to start. Premium service subscriptions, fertility metal exchange. Ani and Chloe's waitress outfits added. So if you ha if you are doing the um, the monthly subscription, awesome. Now you'll be able to acquire these. Uh, I think I got all the previous ones out of there. If not, we'll definitely be che checking those out on the stream. By the way, guys, stream will not be happening tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to be pushing the stream back to Thursday night because that's when it looks like the anniversary is going to drop. So... Just FYI, plus it gives me an extra day to get feeling better, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm I'm heavily medicated at the moment, but I'm going to go take a nap after this bad boy, I promise you. You can now trade for previously released Memoria in the Serious and Dome Exchange. So if you missed out on Memoria, you'll be able to go back and buy some that you missed. That's really, really, really nice. I'm going to argue that some of the Memoria that we've had in the past is probably arguably irrelevant now. Now that we've got Memoria that lasts you know, six turns and beyond, like, you're talking endgame stuff, for me, I think that's where I really want my memory to count, so, I don't know if it's really worthwhile, especially considering you, it's dull here, if I look at this for, so, memory will be added six months after they were originally available, you will be able to get memory at rank four, you cannot exchange for memory you already have, you can exchange dull times 250 for a memory, that's a lot of dull, so, that is 25 four stars for a memoria. That's insanely expensive. I didn't see that before. That is bonkers expensive. No, no, no. Y'all y'all doing this wrong. That should be serious. That should 100% be. Especially, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. I think there's only one, one memoria in the entire game that's even worth that. And that's assuming that you've... Because remember, that amount of dulb is your prism bond and your uh for the adventure and the assist so literally you're having to choose between those t the, those two you're either getting both the prism bonds or one memoria nah, not worth in my opinion just personal opinion but i don't think that's worth new familia stickers added we saw this a while ago pretty awesome stuff uh just you know just for your inner familia conversations the Lotto Orario is back. We kind of knew this was going to happen, but I don't know about you guys. I never get anything good out of this. I think rank four is the best I've ever done, so it's worth logging in and doing it. You know, like, it still is tickets and, and, and Valis and whatnot, but yeah, it's about as best as you can kind of expect to get. Uh, one, two, and three are really, really... I've been playing this game for four years and change now. And I've never, ever, ever gotten above... I don't think I think I've got a rank four like twice, so it's either my luck is terrible, or I don't know. Uh, it's just I've never never had really good luck at it. Hard to get hyped about that. Uh, Dreamer Dim upgrade mission available. CP item upgrades exclusive for fifth anniversary units. Ah, oh, little golden apples exclusive fifth anniversary units. Nice. Uh, enhanced level great success rate tripled. Stamina halved, and all final quests unlocked. So, if you need uh, Exilia or Fauna, it's a great time to do this. 
if you're leveling up any units, it looks like that's a great time to do this. I don't know about you guys, most of my units I'm upgrading right now. But I might hold off on unit upgrades and start doing that here after this drops in a couple of days. Do my, like, last minute uh, grind that way. So, Irish... I have so many so many upgrade items, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Irish with a Star Bond Adventure Special Bundle on Sale. 800 paid Iris. I'm assuming that's paid. For one Adventure Star Bond. So... Let's talk about whether this is worth or not. Remember, that is a star bond for any... There's a, a free bond for any time-limited unit. Um, It's hard to say one way or the other whether that's worthwhile. Because that's like double the cost of... Double the cost of a multi. And a lot of your multis are guaranteed four star. I don't know. It seems expensive to me. It seems overvalued for a star bond. Especially considering you get a ton of them free to play. I don't know, guys. I If it was 600, I wouldn't flinch. Uh, 800 feels a little pricey. Let me know your opinion down below. But I, I'm, not, I'm not enamored by that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting greedy. I don't know. So, 5th Anniversary Special Box. A 4-star time-limited unit exchange ticket. Those, unit, those exchange tickets are generally not worth... With the exception that most likely they're going to have the anniversary units in there from 3rd and 4th anniversary. So if you're lacking some of those units, that actually might be a good time to acquire them. But you're only going to be able to get one. Though you will be able to get one of your choice. So, hard to argue. But you get a 4-star adventure ticket and a 4-star assist ticket. Doesn't say how the, how expensive this is. But I'm guessing it's like 1600 pay. This is going to be like 80 bucks. You get a 3. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Three, JP, four-star guaranteed 11 draw tickets. All four-star units are added after June 2021. That's a hard thing to argue. And of course, one a single 11 draw <laughs> ticket, whatever. That's just, it's like, why'd you even bother? That, that, I don't know, guys. If that's, it's hard for me to argue that 1600 isn't worth that. I don't know if that's the price. Let's see if it's over sixteen hundred is totally not worth. I think sixteen is the highest price I've seen for anything. But there's some great units in those draws. Um, man, that bundle looks way better, way better than the Starbond bundle. It's not even a bundle. It's literally just buying a Starbond out and out. Remember, the four star uh, adventure and assist ticket. You can pick anything from the general pool in there. So, so long as they've been added to the general pool, which I think is going to get a big update here in the next couple of days, uh, if it hasn't already, you, there's a lot of units in there that are just absolutely amazing. So, this is a great bundle right here, but it is going to be massively expensive. And the other thing to bear in mind is you're not, even though it does say f uh, fifth anniversary, I do want to emphasize this is not the anniversary units. This is general pool units that were added to the general pool after June of last year. No anniversary units will be in there. It's literally, or, well, the time limited unit, I expect the older anniversary. No, no, nothing current. This will not get you anything current from this anniversary. But a lot of general pool units in here that are amazing. So, yeah, that I like, actually. So, four star guaranteed ticket gotcha. Ticket gotcha, spring exchange. Lineup update. So this is what we're talking about. So basically on the 23rd of June. So that is what? 10 days from, from today-ish. Because remember, that's JP time. So 10 days from today, they're going to update the uh, the four-star pool. And that looks like most, most if not all, the units are going to be added. If not all, pretty doggone close. So that's a huge update. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Um, this means that any of the four-star general pool units that were recently added, or non-time limited units that were rec recently added, can be obtained through a four-star or even a two-star ticket. So that's huge. Jamie Mo for fifth anniversary bundle. Um, so four-star units are those added after June. This is the thing we just talked about a moment ago. Special bundles to be available one by one. So there's a lot to grab in here. It looks like there's going to be more bundles added. That will include Prism Bonds and Hero Fauna. 
Um, so expect more bundles as the anniversary transpires. If you need prism bonds, might not be a bad time to do it. I do kind of wish they were star bonds, but I'm sure star bonds will be added periodically. Bonus Iris campaign sale. I believe the current sale lasts another week. So you've got a few days left on the current sale. If you really want to buy these, buy those out before the current sale ends. The sale will probably go on for about a month, and then every month I expect these to reset. You can purchase them up to three times. I really, it's like twenty bucks for four hundred iris and, and eighty bucks for sixteen hundred. Um, super, super, super worthwhile, guys. If you are going to whale at all, this is the time to buy. Don't, di don't dilly dally. All right. So, as my energy depletes completely, here we are. Knights of Fianna, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, really surprised I'm terrible, but I feel terrible. Part 1, Knights of Fianna. Uh, we got the 4-star Dim Present, we got the all 4-star Gotcha, we got the free daily 4-star. Uh, we got the double rates for all 4-star units and all the draws, up to 10,000 Iris Present. Lotterario Upgrade Support Campaign, Outfit uh, Refinement Available, New Familia Stickers. We've got a ton of stuff in here. So, then we get to this, Damimo Fest 2022 Gotcha. I would, as much as I do like this one, check this out. Three times only, two applicable four-star units are guaranteed from this 11 draw. So, all four-star units are Loki Familia members released in the past year only. It's really hard to say this isn't worthwhile. It's going to be 400 paid. So basically 1200 paid to go all in and you're guaranteed six four star units. Really hard to argue. But remember, they're only Loki Familia. There's some great units in there, but you're not getting Otaro, you're not getting any of those other units. It's only Loki Familia. So do check that out before you summon that. That could be a game changer. Okay. Uh, here's the part two to that. These are all the assists. So basically, these are all adventures. These are all assists. That is everything incoming, guys. I don't have the usual page that, you know, labels everything out. But that is so very, 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 very much. Um, let me know what you guys thought. If you're hyped for this in the comment section down below, like, comment, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys here uh, when I no longer feel like death warmed over. <laughs>